what is good youtube welcome back to the channel today we got another mullet tutorial i recorded one i want to say last month i believe uh but this is just a popular haircut in the state of texas so we're gonna get into this video this is what we're working with here uh first off i'm gonna saturate the hair and we're gonna go ahead and uh just start directionalizing the hair laying it down where it needs to lay this is crucial uh before you start your share work you just want to make sure that you just get uh the hair just laying down in its natural position where it naturally wants to lay because you don't want you know hair to be over directed or laying down in an awkward position you want to be able to see what you're working with when you're doing your show work so right now i'm making a initial guide and um, we're going to make a traveling guideline so we're going to go from the crown all the way to the front um, and uh, work our way with this guideline and this is going to be the basis for the rest of the cuts on the left and right side of the haircut so we're going to go ahead and travel this towards the forehead and now once we're done with this uh guideline we're going to take a little bit of hair from the middle and then work on the left side and then uh do the opposite side take a little hair from the middle and work on the right side and uh, you'll be able to see right here um what needs to be cut you'll see the the the, the shorter hair in that group of hairs right there and that'll be your guideline so you want to make sure that you're just uh paying attention to your cuts just uh take things you know slow uh, this is sped up of course but i do make sure that my parts are they the way they need to be um they're, they're neat um being neat and organized with your haircuts is going to be crucial to you uh, maintaining your system it's going to be crucial to haircuts coming out even and symmetrical so you just want to pay attention to those things now after that i'm just going to bridge the hair on the side to the top uh, on the side we're going to be using a two guard at the very most um, blending in to the, the top hair so the side hair on the, the tap, temple taper is going to be a two guard max and we're going to be fading that into the top here so i'm just making it easier on myself right now and getting that hair shortened before we actually get to the clipper work and uh, i just really want to get all the share work out of the way uh, before we start using the clippers because it, it really is a pain to go back and forth so you want to make sure that you know you're you're doing you know not making life harder for yourself you know make life easier for yourself and, and just get a system that um flows together a system that you know helps your time management and um i found that doing share work first for me is going to be the fastest way the most uh the most um logical way to do this and just to maintain some time management so we're getting this uh, left side bridge to the top just like we did the right side and uh, after that i'm going to take a two guard open and what I'm doing is I, I, I actually this is a three guard open. This is a three guard open and I'm just riding that hair, um, just thinning it out and getting it to lay down flat uh, like the client had desired. Um, and you can see here uh, compared to the first picture, you know, the first picture hair was a little messy. It was a little full, uh, full of volume. Um, and we're just knocking some of that volume down, keeping the focus of the haircut on the back. So the hair on the back is going to keep that that curl, that bounce, that, that volume. And uh, the top and the front portion is going to be more of a clean cut uh, type of haircut. So right here, I'm taking that uh, number two guard lever open and I'm feeding that hair into the, uh, the clipper using my comb. And just making sure that we just lay down a nice clean canvas that we could fade into um, right here this is an unorthodox way of doing clip over comb um, but um, what i'm doing is laying it on flat on the head using my two guard and riding it up and this is going to give me a smooth blend um, you can see here you know the, the hair is being blended very well and after I do this portion here, we're going to jump into this uh, this taper tutorial. And first off, we're going to make our zero guideline. And using the Andis GTX, the Slimline GTX, has got that 245 power clip on there. I just got an expansion pad for this clipper. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for 245 to come up with a power clip for GRL. And uh, we'll be smooth sailing from there. But we're balding this out using the GTX. Then we're going to go under it with the, the Slimline. I'm sorry, the... Uh, and it's profile shaver make sure that's nice and bald and then we're going to go ahead and start our uh, clipper work we're going to have the lever open we're going to make our first initial panel of hair 
uh, using the lever open, using the corner of our blade because this is a circular area, a very tight area to fade into. So you want to be able, you want to make sure that you're using your uh, first two to three, you know, uh, teeth of the blade. We we'll close the lever all the way, open it up slightly, fade up, open it, open the lever slightly, fade up, and then. Uh, that panel of hair should be completely blended out. This is not a long process for these tapers, but you just wanna make sure that you're paying as much detail to these little areas as possible because you want uh, for this taper to pop um, with the mullet haircut, you want there to be, you know, a lot of, you know, contrast in your haircut. So you want, you know, the, the front to like stand out, you know, it's, it's, just, it's not a large area of hair that you're fading or you know a uh, tapering so you want to make sure that you do your best to give it you know the the best blend you possibly can now we have that half guard on there lever open we're making a panel of hair to fade into we close the lever fade up slightly open the lever a little bit fade up slightly and we just repeat this process until that area is completely faded out and as you can see here we're moving along smoothly with this haircut i do do a lot of detail work i do play with that lever and just get little dark spots here and there that uh, haven't been knocked out and uh, that just helps me to get a very very smooth blend um, detail work is crucial so make sure you're paying attention to your detail work and um, not you know we're using that whole blade make sure you just you know um, in tight areas when you're fading like this you want to just be able to use the corner of your clippers uh, but right now we had that one guard lever open and then we closed it and we're just knocking out this panel of hair etching at that line until we get it completely blended out now we have the one and a half guard so all i am doing is just stacking guards we got that one and a half guard on lever open and we're fading into that uh two guard we had uh initially used the to clear out this canvas and uh close the lever fade up slightly close the lever fade up slightly until we have it blended out now you can see already it's it's almost you know completely blended out already there is a little bit of uh, a dark line right there but we are going to knock that out um, right there, you know, you see me working with that one and a half, playing with the lever, trying to get this dark spot out. And um, I couldn't get this dark spot completely out with that one and a half guard, so I did have to revert back to my one guard uh, just to use the corner area. You can see I pointed out right there, just to get that area um, blended right there, that dark spot. Um, there are gonna be struggle spots with your haircut, so don't be afraid to go back in your guard system to detail these areas and get them um, blended as smooth as possible for your client. Now we have the two guard lever open. We're fading up. Well, we're making another panel of hair to fade into. Um, so once we get this portion right here knocked out for the, now you can see I'm flicking out because I don't want to make a dramatic um, guideline or you know uh, a line that we have to blend out again. So I'm just you know flicking out at that uh, that bulk right there. And then I use my thinning shears because I can see that it's already you know basically faded out so i'm just using my thinning shears to clean up little areas and then we're going to go ahead and take our gtx's and edge up around the ear i don't touch too much hair down the nape because you know this is all hair that the client wants to grow and uh, let flow so i just kind of shape right behind the ear not really um edging it up but we do edge up the front portion around the ear get it super crispy because these are the focal points of the haircut you know a lot of people aren't going to see you know what's under all that hair in the back but they will see the front because you have exposed that area by tapering the front now after that uh, around the ear i did use the shaver to clean up that area and make it completely bald and then after that we're going to go ahead and knock out that c cup area and get this this part knocked down now these gtx's they are hitters don't let anybody tell you any different um i i read comments and, and bashing of the gtx's the slimline gtx's like all day and i don't understand because these are some hitters i promise you you will not be disappointed if you cop some they're very economical trimmer i believe i bought them for like 65 dollars from a, a barber supply store over in uh jersey and you know you can't beat that price for some headers like that but this is the opposite side um you want to make sure that you're just following the same steps as you've done the other side maintain symmetry in your haircuts make sure you have reference points for your edge up um and after that we're gonna go ahead and get this front edge up knocked out um these, like i said right here these eat through hair like this hair in the front is long 
and these GTXs are just slicing through that bulk and giving you a nice crispy line. You know, I, I can't complain about these trimmers. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that I bought them, and I'm really glad that uh, 245 did have a power clip for the slim lines as well. So, just a great clipper in my opinion. But you can see here we're getting this edge up knocked out. I'm doing the vertical bar on the left side, and I apologize for not recording the uh, angling it to to be able to see that portion. But uh, just know that it is nice and crispy. But I did get the right side. Uh, we're gonna get a, a different view, a different angle right here, so you guys can see better on what I'm doing with those GTXs and uh, how I'm edging up that corner part and the vertical bar. Um, so with my edge ups, I always start in the middle, and then I make an, uh, a cut on the corner part into the vertical bar, and I just bridge those two cuts together. And uh, it's like connecting the dots. You just wanna make sure that you are paying attention to what you're doing, detail, detail, detail. Uh, the key to precision is just you know little by little etching away at these 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 uh, corners and making sure that you're just paying attention to uh, the little things the little things are what will make or break a haircut so i got that 245 exposed cartridge uh, triple cartridge razor we are using the you know the derby blades uh, you can get at sally's those are what i use they're convenient they're at the store down the block um, but right here, you can see edge ups coming out nice and crispy. We got the right side done. We're gonna go ahead and get to the left side, and that'll pretty much do it for this haircut. You know, it's not uh, not too difficult. You know, there are some techniques that you know I hope that you picked up in this video. I hope that you can learn something from this video. But that is gonna be the haircut right there. Uh, this mullet transformation. You know, these are always fun to me, especially when you know clients come in with a head full of hair, and then we get the mullet knocked out. It's always a a great time to see those types of transformations but um that'll do it for the haircut i appreciate everybody for tuning into the video today if you are not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications like the video it really helps out the algorithm of the channel and just gives uh, the channel more exposure on youtube uh, stay tuned for that 2k announcement we are at 1976 this morning so we have 24 more subscribers to get to before we make that announcement but uh, i hope everybody enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the haircut uh, i hope you picked up something and if you did like the video drop a comment down below what you would like to see next i thank everybody for supporting the channel uh, 2k is just right on the horizon and it's just amazing to you know be able to reach that pinnacle it's something that you know i never thought i, I would actually see you know but it's it's right there it's a uh, in in the grasp of my hand um but there's the cut appreciate everybody for tuning in uh, until next time god bless